Welcome everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux. Some other mods we're using as well are Player of the Peace Conferences and the State Transition Tool mod, but let's begin with a focus like the War Department expansion. The U.S. War Department has seen a shrinkage over the last half decade through austerity measures. Now it is vital that staffing be expanded and inter new innovators enter the department. Ready for reform. So, right now this is my first campaign in Kaiser Redux as the United States. I played the Home of the Brave mod, which is part of... Kaiser Redux now, but not I've not played as the United States yet, in, specifically in Kaiser Redux, so if you liked it about the US in 1936, please go right ahead. I read this when I played Home of the Brave mod, which I'm pretty sure is exactly the same, but God save America, shall we? Shall we? We shall. And now we have the National Spirits. It's a Great Depression, which is not very great for us. Voting Rights and Legation Councils. This happens every campaign is America. Or even, even as other nations, so. Crime spree sweeps the nation, but I will read this one. As America spirals ever deeper into chaos, there's been a wave of crime throughout this country. Many of these criminals are getting sensationalist news stories about their activities, and especially gangsters like bank robber John Dillinger, Chicago crime boss Al Capone, and scandalous Biden clad. Thankfully, the Bureau of Investigation has been working hard to catch these criminals and bring in some order back to America. Although they have requested an increase in funding, claiming that they have a shortage of manpower. Of course, AFP, ODP, the old Democrat Party, and SBA have begun attributing these crimes to moral decline in robber barons, Increase FBI funding. We cannot spare anything at the moment. FBI funding. Uh, do we like the FBI here? So, we have the National Spirits, of course. We have a political crisis which lowers our weekly war support and stability. Oh, well. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. General strike. Syndicalist strikes, which is not very good for us either. We have the, uh, every time this pops up, I always say, he is so handsome. Anyways, whatever. Uh, and we also have, uh, Cynical Strikes, and we have an <coughs> invisible empire. But we're not going down that route this time, and we have Fruits of the Open Door, of course. Georgia Governor Eugene Talmay just formally declared himself a member of the old Democratic Party after being a lifelong member of the Democratic Party, which he claims is selling out to Americans, a political faction with an ambiguous relationship to the Democratic Party. They appear to primary Democrats they used to approve of whenever possible, it's not, and when it's not, they run their on their own ticket. When they win, they nonetheless often caucus with the Democrats who often dislike them, but need their support. However, it is clear that the ODP is displacing sections of both parties, including the old, good old Klan, uh, <clears throat> controlled in the Indiana Republican Party, which has seen increasing defections of the ODP, which it is a member of in all but name anyways, and Talamage's declarations set off yet another wave of Democratic defection to the ODP, especially in the American Southeast. Well, what a dude. Because we have a certain route that I want to go down, but paramilitary growth, um... If you like to about this, please go right ahead. I've already read this once before in, a while ago, so gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Uh, let's see. We have, we have different types of Republicans, liberal Republicans. We've got conservative Republicans. We've got a progressive party here. We've got uh, with social Democrats under George Norris. We've got a lot of socialist parties. Uh, more, oh, the great Berlin market stock crash. You can never escape poverty. Status of the U.S. Army. Uh, if you like to about this, please go right ahead. Reds. And status of the U.S. Army. Well, have to suffice. So be it. We've, I've read this stuff before, and I don't want to read it again, so... It is what it is. And we shall next do... Honestly, we probably don't even have to do a focus right now. About the U.S. Navy. The American Navy, an institution whose history is so deeply interwoven with that of the nation as a whole, has been in steady decline after years and years of neglect. No more. We must again turn our attention to naval affairs. I apologize for that click that I was... I was pressing enter for some reason, but Black Monday hits America. This is just another year. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. A lot of these focuses or decisions or events, I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of click over. But I think I want to read this one. The 1936 election is looking to be one of the most contentious in American history. Many politicians within the upper circle of the Republican and Democratic parties fear that a victory by the Socialist Party of America. The America First Party and old Democrats would mean the end of America and the American way of life. In order to avoid this, a plan has been proposed by the Republican Party, in which they will nominate a member of both conservative and progressive wings of the party to the ticket to guarantee a moderate platform. As part of the agreement, the Republicans will not run candidates in the solid South to give traditional Democrats a better chance, and likewise not run party endorsed candidates in progressive areas. This plan is unlikely to be popular with the lower-ranking members of the parties, but it may be the only thing that can prevent the radical parties from gaining strength. Most importantly, all parties agree that whichever party between the three of them wins a plurality of the vote for president will be endorsed by the other two parties for president and the House of Representatives, despite his lack of pub public popularity. President Hoover is still head of the Republican Party. His support would be, of course, invaluable to gaining support for the plan for more senators. Endorse the plan? That's absolutely undemocratic, and we ain't about that right now. Mm -mm. No, thank you. What do we have here? Deal with the Great Depression. Oh. 
Charles Coughlin's radio broadcast three years ago today, following Charles Coughlin, began a weekly radio broadcast in America and now has an audience of over 50 million people. A leading F AFP activist, he is a conspiracy-minded populist who claimed that the syndicalist revolution in France was fomented by the German elite and that the Berlin stock market crash is an international conspiracy of bankers and somehow people still tune into his radical agenda, which calls for a near overthrow of the U.S. government. His extreme and unorthodox rhetoric is barely tolerated by the church and the Pope is expected to make a decision whether to ask the U.S. government to shut him down. His broad guess so that his message cannot reach the public. Becoming a danger to the public, shut him down. Authoritarian democracy, what, I hate what he says, but I defend his rights to say it. Authoritarian democracy still goes up. Uh, which one's authoritarian democracy? America first party is authoritarian democrats, so shut him down. So, oh, all right, let's shut down his freedom of speech. All right, thank you very much, government. Thank you. So the goal is, okay, so I've already decided, actually my Discord server decided early on what route we're going to go with this. Uh, we're going to go down in this campaign, as you can probably tell from the title, America First Party. But, there's a little catch there. So, the U.S. State Secretary of Commerce Roy D. Chaplin died today due to a severe heart attack, a close ally of Herbert Hoover within the Republican Party. Chaplin has uh, desperately attempted to work with businesses, especially those in the motor industry, to undo the severeness of the Great Depression. With Vice President Charles Curtis only having survived his own heart attack earlier this month due to curing the White House medical staff on standby. Many see this as both a symbolic and a little example of the old political class passing away in favor of the new movements, although the Republican Party has protested such claims. Pai Fu backs on Ching, cool. So yeah, we're going to go with the American First Party. But yeah, Kornilov storms Moscow. I need to play as Russia and Kaiser Redux. I've never done it. Well, Russia ever rest? No, why would they? And if I remember correctly, uh, we're going to lose in pretty much the entire Navy. Oh, well, you know, we're going to get a sliver, a fraction of the Navy, but... And the Army and the Air Force. But the Democratic Party and the Republican Party were just like the old patent medicine drummer that used to come around our country. He had two bottles of medicine. He played the banjo and he'd sell two bottles of medicine. Uh, actually, I've already read this one before. I was re I wanted to read the Republican nomination disagreement, but if you like to read about Huey Long Speaks, i said this like quite a few times, but... Homily sayings do not win elections? I don't know, ma'am. But a Republican nomination disagreement. The Republican Party is united in its goal to save America and preserve liberal democracy, but as per usual, disagreement has arisen over whether a member of the party's progressive or conservative wing will be the president to oversee this. Representing the party's moderate conservatives is Charles Curtis, vice president of the U.S., who is well-renowned for his negotiating abilities amongst politicians, giving him a moderate appeal that crosses party lines, however. Representing the more liberal wing of the party's famed businessman, Kansas Governor Alf Lannan, who whom favors more direct economic intervention in the economy and could win over progressive Republicans whom recently defected to the left-leaning progressive party. While the loser will be the one, the other's vice presidential candidate to show party solidarity, Hoover, using his little remaining political capital to back a candidate could make or break it then. Curtis? Uh, Landon. Well, which one has the least amount of support? So we have market liberalism and, so and uh, social liberalism. Social libs? Market libs. Let's see, these guys have the weakest amount of party right now. Ooh, mm. Mm. yeah, I'll go with this one. Let's go with social ebbs. Oh, look at that! No political power. Selling super vets now. We're kind of good right now. Send more troops to location cities. I kind of want to do that, but death of Pius eleventh. Oh boy, how terrible! But we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens with him going kaboom. Restoration of democracy in Australasia. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. After the U.S. Navy, we're going to go ahead and do the reintroduce the Ghana Wagner Bill. Well, originally vetoed in 1932, the economic situation in America has deteriorated to the point where unemployment relief efforts are seen as the only way to prevent widespread collapse. President Hoover has indicated to the Democrats in Congress that this time he will not veto the, the relief bill. Um, I've already read their focus. I've, I've read this one like four times already before my, on this channel, so if you'd like to read about this one, please go right ahead. We shall see. It usually fails, but whatever. If you'd like to read about the status of the U.S. Navy, please go right ahead as well. This happens every campaign when we play as America in Kaiser Reich or Kaiser Redux, but St. Patrick's Day Flood. On March 16th, 1936, warmer than usual temperatures had led to the melting of large amounts of snow and ice in the upper. Al I always say this word wrong. Allegheny and Monongahela rivers. The rivers and the tributaries that had already overflowed their banks were soon threatening the city of Pittsburgh on March 17th. The waters reached a flood stage of 25 feet, then overnight, heavy rain caused the water to rise even higher, and on March 18th, the water peaked at about 46 feet, 21 feet above the flood stage. This is the worst such a disaster in the city's history, and local authorities have already requested federal aid. We must help the people. Well, help the people. Actually, no, we should have let them... No, we should have not helped the people. Because we want them to grow disillusioned with the government. Am I talking about myself here or anyone here on this channel? I might be. I don't know. But we're currently led by the... Uh, looks like it's probably social liberals. Mar no, market liberals. These are market liberals. Oh, conservatives are market liberals. Yeah. 
the Ohio scandal, major, major scandals broken out in Ohio, to the point of grabbing national attention even in these trying times. It appears a notorious political organization called the Ohio Gang, led by Ohio Governor Hera M. Daugherty, Daugherty has come under investigation for selling firearms from the armory to nearby militias with, all, with the aid of bootlegger George Remus after one of the affected armory's officers broke down to questioning regarding missing supply shipments, claiming the Daugherty fixer of Jess Smith acted as the middleman. The scandal is further damaging the reputation of the established political class, despite Hooper being a foe in the, of the group. Perhaps we should denounce them to distance ourselves further, albeit at the cost of incurring politi powerful political foes. Denounce them? Uh, let's lower this one. It's not my place to comment, just because we could. Long and hate would demand changes. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. This happens pretty much in a campaign, so. And I want to be going to that civil war as fast as possible, so. Because we love civil war here on the channel. Except when we don't want it. Democratic nomination. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Uh, Wilson... Yeah, Garner. John Nance Garner. And then... Cool. Darn Democrats. Stanley Cup. This happened to literally every campaign in America, so... If you like to read about Stanley Cup... Okay, never mind. There goes Toronto, they won. Alright, they won again. Jeff Smith died shortly after some of successfully making bail. Jeff Smith was found dead in his apartment in what appears to be a suicide by gunshot. Of course, few are believing the story and has made the now so-called Springfield scandal named for the rifle off and sold to militia groups into an even greater sensation. Perhaps we should further investigate his death to calm fears that the political system is utterly corrupt, even if doing so will partially vindicate various radical populists already spout spouting conspiracies around the subject, such as Charles Coughlin, and Gerald Burton, Winrod, and Smelly Butler. Send the FBI? Authoritarian democracy? I'll leave it alone? Um, hmm. Popularity of those radical factions. We'll send in the FBI. Senators break ranks. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Go right ahead. Uh, pledge support to Wagner and the establishment of compromise with AFP. Um, let's compromise with AFP. We'll see what happens. It's probably still going to fail. The progressive nomination. Is this Olson? Oh, no. Oh, you know what? I'll read this one. Locally opposing the Home Rule Plan is empowering extremist elements in the country. Longtime liberal Nebraska senator and respected sa statesman George Norris accepted the Progressive Party's nomination for president, a party that begins a breakaway faction within the Republican Party. This affected by the GOP's conservative handling of the economy since the Great Depression, saying the problems in the American political system was a symptom of unfair economic policies and a lack of opportunity. Norris endorsed a massive project to reinvest in poor communities and work with union leaders to not only stabilize the country but make it truly fair. Liberal Democrats, disaffected by the nomination of Ghana, have shown interest in his message. Darn splitters. Darn splitters. Oh. Hello. Compromise with the AFP. Oh, look at that. Recent days have resulted in a compromise between many establishment senators and the American First Party with numerous extra provisions included for, ar for farm relief and unemployment protection, though nowhere near as far as the AFP originally demanded. Even so, Huey Long has declared this as a victory and is riding high in recent polls. Both Bill Haywood's SPN and a large number of Republican senators have declared this a betrayal of the American people. However, and about to sink the Ghana Wagner bill when the vote comes, we've done what we can. First International Congress. Well, hello, International Congress. I just want to build stuff right now. But we can't, because we're losing political power every day. Panel pressures Costa Rica. Uh, this happens every time if you like to read that. Please go right ahead. Oh, do it. Do it, Costa Rica. I dare you. Uh, triple dog. Dare you, son of a gun. Mayday rights. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. This happens every time, too. Uh, national populism and radical socialism. The Socialist Party gains more power. The police were at fault. Yeah, we don't want that Socialist Party to gain more power, so... We have to do the police were at fault for this one. Because as much as we love national populism here, that's not going to be us. And Panama backs down, which is good. The Monroe Doctrine stands. Well, we've got a whole 10 more political power, but now it ain't Quentin Roosevelt. Oh, if you'd like to read about this one, please go right ahead. If a deal that is fair and a deal that is square. Cool. And what happens with the bill? Does it, does it go? Oh. Oh. What is this? An assassination? Assassination? Assassination attempt occurred on ODP vice presidential candidate Johnny e. Rankin when an anarchist fired on him from a crowd. For some time, the violence has been mostly between the supporters of the radical parties. However, recently, the violence is now reaching the candidates and politicians themselves. Failed attempts on the lives of both Huey Long and Bill Haywood have occurred in the past few months. Both gunmen shooting from a crowd, both failed, both have resulted in higher security. Several more pol local politicians have been stabbed during a campaign rally, moreover. Voters from both extremes are turning a blind eye to the violence done to their enemies, and the Ghana... Oh, it passes! Though the vote was incredibly close, the Ghana Wagner Bill has passed Congress. People throughout the U.S. are celebrating this welcome relief to the country's disastrous economic situation. Though many within the government are wondering, how the will the bill be paid for? A victory for us all? Well, look at that. The bill passes, actually. The bill's been passed. This is good news for America's economy. Though now we must find ways to fund the bill, or the good news isn't going to last. 
All right. The Hawking Plan. A junior Democratic senator has proposed a plan which would see the Garner Wagner bill funded by increased corporate tax incomes. The plan is controversial with some, but it might just give the economy the boost it needs. Huh. Uh, a. Mitchell Palmer dies. Former President A. Mitchell Palmer died of heart complications a day shortly after receiving a patented appendectomy. While the establishment parties, naming the Republicans and Democrats, oh God, gave statements expressing grief for his death, the, the other parties and much of the public seem to be ambivalent about his death and not issuing any statements at all. The SBA stands alone in practically openly celebrating his death, stating that the Palmer was a tyrant whose two-term presidency after taking over for Woodrow Wilson was responsible for America's current state and the attacks on union workers. The ODP appeared to prove uh, Palmer's red scare and have issued a statement thanking him for his efforts, although they repudiated his more liberal statements. Long himself barely commented, only stating that Palmer was a flawed man. Vera, Vera, well. Then his nomination, if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Oh, Popeye's the, uh, 12. Oh, God, dang it. There you go. If you'd like to read it, please go right ahead. Hawk and playing, huh? All Democrats announced no nominee, and not even more radical candidates. Cool. And who are they voting for? Mm. Ah, Murrah. William H. Murrah. Cool. Not even more radical candidates, please. But please, let's get more. Special election, no New Jersey. I almost said Norway for some reason, but we... Oh, old Democratic Party loses power. Pretend Autocratic gets more power. They, uh, social conservatives. Are that the Democratic Party? Yeah. Um, That sounds more like... Federal government, and we don't want the federal government to be too strong, so we'll give it to Charles Lindbergh. Oh, actually, have 10 A Luxby. Look at that. I just realized that. We have no stability, and we have a little bit more support. Special election Washington, if you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Socialists Party of America? Socialist Party, yeah. Coffee, let's weak them. I always choose that one. I need to play the CSA again sometime. Or the Western Command Center, or even the PSA sometime. Kane Akiva? Oh, I guess we're making tanks. Or we're trying to research tanks. Let's grab some logistic companies. And you know what? How we grab some of this? Brownings and stuff like that. Oh, we're actually building some stuff. Look at that. And we're building infrastructure just because I know we need, we're going to need it. We're just straight up going to need it. And it helps make uh, divisions cross the area faster. Maybe get some more oil, which was always nice and all. But the great heat wave of 36. Please go right ahead. As well as increasing radicalization. It is what it is. This happens every campaign, pretty much, in Kaiser Redux, so... Not great. As well as, this just ain't our year. Oh, well. Wow, look. America's really divided. The Hawking plan. Uh, junior Democratic Senator Thomas Hawking has introduced a bill which will see the relief efforts largely funded by taxing American corporations in exchange for heavy tax considerations down the line. Once the economy is recovered, this has caused considerably controversy in some corners, especially among the AFP and SBA supporters. Others say it would be far too easy for the next government to reverse the decision, leaving the corporations holding the bag and even worse off than they were before, regardless. There is... There is enough support to see the bill pass, and as an added bonus, the agency to coordinate the efforts could be placed in either in either Min, Minneapolis, Polis, or in Charlotte, with the added bonus of a new employment weakening what are the AFP and SPA strongholds. Hmm. America First Party gains political power as well as the old Democratic Party, while the SBA loses some. Base the agency in Charlotte. Oh, we both get power to power anyways. Um I really don't want to see the CSA win. Minneapolis. Hmm. Charlotte. I mean, it doesn't matter because we're going to get more anyways. Uh, basically in Charlotte because I'm from North Carolina. Or at least I was, bo I was born in Charlotte, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? New Industrial Act. We need to kickstart heavy industry in America's heartlands where the Great Depression has hit the hardest. Nice. Very cool. Red Summer, if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Can this year get any worse? Probably. Why send over China? If you like to read about that, please go ahead as well. MacArthur's Independence Day address. Uh, this happens every time. Reprimand them um, or leave them be. Uh, uh, doesn't really matter. Leave them be. Let's do some market liberalism. There you go. 8%. America First Party is only at 20%. Actually, that's probably one of the highest ones here. He's at 3%, 10%, almost 11%. Uh, that's not bad. Poland elects a new king? Okay, that's cool. Electing a king. That doesn't seem very monarchist of them. To elect a king? Oh. Whoa. You actually gave him the freedom. Yi Un. Progressive locked to the GOP. 
I don't remember this one, but please, if you would like to do that, please go right ahead. So, is there something in the water? Maybe. Hank Southern Texas is great. Fighting in Arkansas, gone with the wind. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. But if you want to read about fighting in Arkansas, please go right ahead. Counter both. The third democracy goes down. Counter the clan. Counter the Minutemen. We can't involve ourselves right now. Counter the clan. The clan is not very cool, at least for this campaign. No, thank you. Counter the clanarino. And then after this, the new industrial act. Then we'll go with. Let me scroll to the left, please. Thank you. Shipyard funding scheme. Two major ship, uh, major shipbuilding companies are vying for federal relief funding, and the one we select means a large number of new jobs in the region. What the trouble is, which one do we focus on? The new industrial act, as an offshoot of the Hawking plan, and relief efforts will see new industrial growth in several vital areas, primarily in the military sector. It's several of these new companies are planning for Denver, Colorado. At least one other area can be promoted, and the cabinet believes that putting them in depressed areas, which are currently strongholds of the AFP or SBA, may see their influence in those areas drastically weakened. Uh, Minnesota, Socialist Party loses power with the OB ODP and the American First Party gets power in Tennessee. I mean, regardless, greatly loses political power. Um, I like them losing a lot of political power. I think that'd be really nice. Well, the American First Party still gets more political power? Oh, yeah. I don't want to weaken the Socialists too much. Weaken the old Democratic Party since we did promote them in Charlotte last time, so. And Southern Democratic voters align with, align with the old Democrats. What a devious little madman. Alright, whatever. And, that, and that's fine, since we just weakened them so they got more strength back. So, demand reparations of, uh, or, or repayment of war debts. The UK incurred an enormous war debt to us during the Valkyrie. That debt has been inherited by Canada. Well, it's unlikely Canada could repay it right now. Uh, demanding repayment will appease isolationists to Congress, whom we believe will join the political fringes, if not appeased. If you'd like to read about Mal Mal, please go right ahead as well. What do you think is a white savior? America demands war debts. Hopefully we, they refuse and we get some tariffs on them. And we're going to have an election very soon, too. Not bad. Black Monday. Hopefully it goes away eventually. Eventually, eventually. Oh, we almost have roads done. That'd be really nice. MacArthur speaks to Hoover. You'd like to read about that? Please go right ahead. Um, let's see. To hold New Mexico, which has seen activity from both groups. I feel like he's abusing authority. Um, do we want him to do that? Um... We'll have him do that. You know what? Let's at least make sure we get some other stuff done. North Texas as well. At least one thing of infrastructure would be kind of nice. And then above that one... Oh, what is happening? Oh, deal with the Great Depression. Whatever. North Texas is getting done. And then... Oh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma wouldn't be bad. The Great Heat Wave is over. At least it's over. Good. Oklahoma Panhandle. Is this... Shipyard funding scheme. The hockey plan has led to two major shipbuilding companies vying for a federal contract. One in New York City and the other in Corpus Christi, which I've never been to. Both would mean a large number of jobs for the area and would be a boon to our control over the region. The problem is that the word of the contract has gone down. Whichever city we don't choose will likely be enraged, given the strength of the AFP or the SP in the region. Ah, uh, dockyards to Corpus Christi would not be bad. But, we gave the contract to New York City. They're going to piss off all the Americans down south. Cool. Bad over the overpass. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. This is very weird. Oklahoma. Why, did, why is this one province? Dodge City and the Panhandle, Oklahoma Panhandle, and then Pueblo and stuff. Very weird. Uh oh, we've not dealt with the Great Depression. Uh oh. I wonder what happens if he, that, that that happens. I need to play the United States and Kazarudix a lot more, but if you like to read about the World Series, please go right ahead, play ball. And then Lieutenant Governor Assassinated. Uh, I think I've read this one before, Emmett Anderson. I think I've read a lot of this before as well, so. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. Hit the Red Raiders. Hit the clan. Oh, lose power. I see government can handle. Hit the clan. We're gonna hit the clan. Gonna smack down that clan as hard as possible. We should within a month have uh, an election, right? Radio. Oh, look at that. Now let's get that stuff done. Grab some military police next, and then maybe grab some artillery. Maybe. Maybe. Campaigning hardens militia lines. War may be coming. Yeah, maybe. Yankees win World Series. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. As well as violence between radicals. Nice. Oh, everyone loses power, though. That's not nice. Oh, violence between radicals. What do you mean? Oh, Herbert Hoover. How history has remembered you so far. Hey, we lost even more stability. Look at that. And we have actually 18% party popularity. That's not bad. America First is only 16%. That sucks. 
Uh, 6%. Oh, look at that. The devil's number, 666. Socialist devils? Oh, boy. 9.77, 3.47. No, that's not good for us. Demand war reps. They refuse. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead. Reconciliation, compromise. The Tariff Act. Um, hmm. Repairing relations would take a long, long time. We're going to go with reconciliation with Canada, which pisses off other people. The oscillations are, are related by the cost of relations with Canada. We can try rebuilding those relations by offering a compromise some assistance from Canada now, with the debt deferred until after the war. In exchange, we'll reduce the import tariffs from the Entente, which is going to piss off the oscillationists. We're doing too well. They're already 23%. Representatives are retiring. Good. 23% jumps down to 22%. And we're back at 16% for the American First Party. A shocking revelation. My God, it was all connected. Ah, uh, time for the elections. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. But oh, we got a certain long dong we got to go with right now. As much as I would love a deadlock, which would be kind of wild, but you know what? A multi party system looks like it would be really bad for America. Maybe, but, uh, well, hello there, the kingfish. Oh, uh, we could do reconciliation. I guess we, we can do that for now. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, that just passed already. It's bypassed. Good. Oh, this pisses off a lot of people. Do we have any focuses we can do? No. All right, restore or restore in Siam. Electors defy majority. News out of Texas today has caused outrage among its populace. St specifically, the news that the state's appointed electors had defied the will of the people and cast their votes for John Hans Gardner instead of Huey Long, who had won the state's popular vote. While they're technically within their rights to go against the will of the populace, that many have attempted to sue them, and the case looks like going to the Supreme Court. The electors backed down, as gave in a stranglehold over Texas. Let's take the case taken to the Supreme Court. Back down. The AFP is given a stranglehold over Texas. Is given a stranglehold. Sure, why not? We'll give it to them. Why not? Logistics 1. Um, give them some maintenance companies. Why not? SBI can test election results. If you like to read about that, go right ahead. And up next is what? Come on. Oh, okay, you're down there. Hello. Hello, Norway. That's weird not doing a focus. That's very weird. Like, we can't choose anything here. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. What's going on? Whoever criticized the president, it is, he doesn't matter anymore. Very, very good. I mean, this is still the, you know, the normal U.S. federal government focus tree, so. Um, we can't even do this one. Oh, we haven't been inaugurated yet. That makes sense. The imp impossible has occurred, and the America First Party has gained the presidency. The AFP does not, however, have control over Congress, the House of Representatives, and Huey Long faces both the wary legislature and country on the verge of utter chaos. Eventually, we automatically bypass and unlock the other focuses. Cool. Break the bankers. Address the matters of masters of finance. Gains political power. Authoritarian democracy. Focus on the ODP. They agree to lose political power. Break the bankers. Authoritarian democracy. Fight the anarchists. Great to lose political power. Honestly, I'm going to use the S, the CSA, hopefully, as like a punching bag for everyone else. Because the old Democrat Party, the CAR, the Constitutional American Republic, will be fighting them too. And the Feds as well. So, I want to focus on the Western command structure for the most part, maybe. And then um, uh, go to the PSA, but we'll see what happens. So I think we'll just go ma just master the finance, 4% more, 5%. We're going to probably break the bankers, probably. Has anyone done as much damage as the establishment ban banking class? It's time to investigate and punish their fraudulent behavior to restore public confidence and bring the justice of the nation to them. So gain more power in 5% is usually a bigger number than 4%. Not always, but usually 4 5% is bigger than 4%. So we're going to go down that route as well. New Year's Day strike, if you'd like to read about that, please go ahead, this is going to cause a problem. Whatever, man, whatever. Oh, he refu resigns. Uh, if you'd like to read about that, please go ahead, I wonder what grueling, Gruning has in store. Cool. Not a lot of population. Core population of about 134 million, almost. Not bad. America needs to make more babies, though. Needs to make more babies. Whether it's in this mod or in real life. 0% for the national populists. Actually, it's... 0.61%, but whatever. Gruning speech. Gruning today made a speech in passion and fervor of Alaskan statehood in a speech that compared the people of Alaska to the people of America under British rule and called for Alaska to be truly free and equal to the rest of America. The speech, though, has mostly fallen on deaf ears as most of America has bigger, bigger concerns to deal with. Sorry, Alaska. 
We have bigger things to deal with. If you like to be about long speech here, please go right ahead. But God bless America. America. President Huey Long, very good. And that's done. I think I've read this one before when I played as the Amer Constitution American Republic, but I'm going to still do this one anyways, just because uh, I think we should get to it. 5% is bigger than 4%. If you'd like to read about the farm aid bill, please go right ahead. Approved. Nice. Happy 1937 anyways, everyone. And we'll probably address the Masters, masters of Finance. Focus on the ODPs and yes and all. Uh, ooh. The Cochrane banking bills are starting a massive fight in Congress with its goal to establish a central bank being fanatically opposed by the ODP and sneer at nationalization of private banking by only allowing them to administrate it, being opposed by most parties with the exception of the Progressive Party and in part of the SBA. As the debate drags on, Long is increasingly being accused of attempting to shove through the policy on its own terms and of wanting a centralized, tyrannical government, with AFP opponents believing that to hand the AFP control of banking would be handing them the nation despite Long's insistence that the banking directors will be democratically elected, thankfully, however. Assumes many Americans, especially in those in the AFP territory, are supportive of the plan and view it as a vindication of the AFP, AFP's presentation of Long as a man of the people. The common people are wiser. Well, artillery, like. Nice. Not like. Nice. We're not going to have any time to do any of this stuff, so... Direct fire might not be bad. Oh, that's a long time. How about we do... Smoke generators, why not? Smokey, smokey, smoke. Act quickly. We don't have much time. Until people start going kaboom at us. We got two weeks. New York for Alaska. State here in Alaska is becoming more and more a depressing issue, and as America slowly collapses, the differences between Alaska and the mainland America are becoming more present. State has always been a goal, but some in Alaska are seeing more radical alternatives. Some are saying that if Alaska won't become a state and America is unable to take care of us, then we have no reason to stay with America. The idea of independence is circulating around with a rapidly deteriorating situation in the mainland. The reasons to stay with America are getting fewer by the day. What has America ever done for us? We're loyal to America now forevermore. Hopefully they join the AFP. We'll see what happens, though. A growth machine? Uh, Long has decided to pass a bank and bail in the most reliable manner he knows how. By playing political games against Washington. Long has used the bully pulpit to decry Congress as a cut up to the bone, calling senators by name to other outrage. And reports have been circulated and increased bribes of politicians, the gathering of blackmail material, demanding recall elections against opponents in their territory, and declaring the Minutemen will receive federal backing as they are defenders of democracy. Sharing their wealth is their only defense. Absolutely. 33%, not high enough. I really need to play some progressive America sometime, too. ODP retreats south. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Dudes, dudes, dudes. Alright, we got some radio. And let's go back over here to do some naval stuff. 95 days, 104. Oh, that's a long time. 57 days? Yeah, why not? I doubt we'll be able to get it done, but whatever. And address the matters of masters of finance. Long's first priority must be to offer relief to the numerous unemployed Americans oppressed by the Great Depression, even if it must be delivered via presidential executive order. The relief bill is the first step in implementing the Share Our Wealth program. Aw, yeah. How many more days do we have left? Oh, I think we're out of time. Oh, we're out of time. Assembling the cabinet. All right, so... Huey Long intends to follow through on his promise to build a cross-party alliance that would allow for the dominance and his share of this wealth ideology in America and build enough congressional support to pass the AFP's agenda. However, attempting to appoint everyone from moderate socialist to conservative Democrats to his cabinet's proven problem and some are flatly refusing to join. With some leftists being especially upset at the idea of Herbert Hoover being appointed Secretary of Commerce and rights disliking Smedley Butler being appointed Secretary of War. Of course, Charles Cochran presses us to just double down on AFP appointees and only appoint other parties who will accept this. If we don't take his advice, it's obvious that we would have to bias one side of the aisle to get them to agree. Conservative stuff? We only need the AFP. Lean towards socialist appointees. Uh, we also get power that way. We only need the AFP. Let's piss off everyone, shall we? We shall. And, oh, Serbia does some stuff. There goes Finland. And they decline our share of wealth. Publicly, as long as say that he hoped that the Morgan banking family, Rockefellers, and other financial elites could be talking and supporting share our wealth that they were brought to the table until it was the only defense the nation had, allowing them to be administrators if they accepted mass wealth redistribution. Unsurprisingly, however, one after another has turned down his offer, and with Rockefeller calling him a fool. While some relatively small-time millionaires seem open to the plan, it is clear that the giants are not causing or perhaps just allowing. Long to go on the offensive, decrying their lack of patriotism. How could they? How could they? Yeah, well, they don't like America. Unpatriotic Americans. Well, they, should they even be called Americans at that point? They ain't going to support everyone else? Hey, look, North Texas, look at that. Creation of the International Avant-Garde, trust busting. Long has ordered the Depart U.S. Department of Justice Antitrust Division to investigate all the powers that decline share wealth and assign an executive order expanding the definition of trusts. 
This combination has led to outcries in Congress of authoritarianism, while long attempts to deal with this by calling congressmen to oppose them tools of big business. This popularity among the common people has fanatically increased as a result, but Washington obviously remains opposed, calling it unconstitutional and a wild overreach of his powers, while the more radical of his opponents promise to use their paramilitaries to defend themselves from long, as it should be. Focus on the ODP. Uh, I'm gonna just going to click on that. It's probably going to just go bypass anyways, but... The ODP and the NDWL have caused America and us enough problems using their Wyatt Leagues and Clan links. We need to hit them hard and fast before they can react. Pretty much. The Long Order. He's declared that all that all attempts to talk or to or find the financial elite to be a failure and has issued executive order that will implement a one-time confiscation of wealth above $50 million, declaring that the amount of capital these self-serving businessmen is widely irresponsible, a threat to the Republican, and makes it impossible to pass any legislation through Congress. Naturally, Congress is in uproar and has announced the action as the latest in a series of self-serving AFP acts, though the unaffiliated populace appear to be with Long. It is unknown how much this will help this as segments of the military are apparently coordinating with members of Congress to take action against Congress. It was the only way. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Canon invokes the War Measures Act. Uh, the NDW has declared us as a, uh, a traitor. So if you like to do about that, please go right ahead. Send in the biggest guys we've got. So be it. So be it. Russia announces their ambitions. And Canada's got a really weird flag with a handsome Edward VIII. But MacArthur and the army were moved along. If you'd like to do about that, please go right ahead. But my allegiance was to the Republic, MacArthur. To democracy. And American democracy has been shattered forever. Mr. Smoky Corn Pop Glasses Dude. Yeah, at this point, researching anything is going to be a waste of time. So, let's go into this one. Well, President Long declares American Union State. President Huey Long has escaped to New Orleans and has declared that General MacArthur is a traitor to the people of America. He has gained ready listeners among a number of Southern and Midwestern governors, all of whom view this as ultimate proof the establishment would never allow them to pass a reform and that they no longer recognize MacArthur's authority. They demand his resignation. Long has spoken on the radio, urging all Americans to support the legitimate president in a fight against the tyranny that MacArthur represents. Ooh, we can raise divisions for the federal government. Yeah, we'll do that one. You can have one in Reno. Stand by the Republic? Nope. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at that. Oh, I like that flag. It's a nice flag. Occupied territories. We have no occupied territories. What do you mean? This is just as we, just as God intended. All right, so we're gonna do some military factors. I'm gonna build millies. Uh, do it there and do it there, just because we need them. Uh, see if these are nice and all. Northern Texas. That's where they're building in Northern Texas. Where do we have? Oh, is there oil? Uh, resource-rich areas. We should really build them first. Um, uh, bum bum bum. Yes. And then you can build all this up. If we need to build millies, I'm just going to build millies, like, immediately. And, see, exactly. We have nothing here at all. Support equipment to get some trucks, get some artillery, get some... I'd like to use tanks. I don't know if I'm really going to be focusing on tanks that much, though. What do we have here? So this is what the AI set up. Louisiana National Guard. Well, uh, AI set up templates. Sound super events. We want Northern Texas probably first. Oh, Eastern New Mexico. Yeah, looks like 8's probably going to be the one for us. Thank you. Even those motorized would be very, very important. Um, Houston's own. That is 18 combat. That's really not bad. We have militia divisions as well that you're 18 combat with. Um, what about you guys? What the heck? Uh, what is this? One by itself. Are you su you are suicidal, man? But at least they set it up a little. What is the AI up to? Yeah, five. Uh, give me that truck. Uh, so that stuff is all okay. Horses, mounted minimen. Um, I'll, I'll send you over here too, just because we need them probably. All right, so you guys aren't doing that stuff now. Ooh, you shall be led by. Uh, no, Simpson, I guess. Do that one. There you go. Ooh, realistically, hmm, we do it like this. I don't know which side's gonna have more divisions to fight. I'm gonna assume the East Coast side has more just because of the number of you know guys there and stuff. Uh, you guys, I'm back over there. That's fine. Um, mm, I don't like this. So you guys are not bad. I think I gotta cut you down a little bit more. I should really sp split these guys up a little bit more effectively. So you guys come over here. No, 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 no. eighteen, eighteen over here. Numbers, what do they mean? Actually, oh, I think I want to take out the car first. I said I want the Western Command Center, but fighting through the mountains is going to be god-awful. 
if you take out the car, hold on to the, the southeast of the United States first, that'd be probably be good. If you take out this part of the Midwest and just West in general, it's not that populous. And while the Southeast isn't extremely populous, it's more population there, maybe more industry, maybe. We have more resources and we have more uh, chances to repair navies, get more dockyards. So I think that's probably the goal here. You guys. No. You guys, yeah. There you go. I'm sorry for this, taking time for the setup, but it's just got to be done. We, we want to hit the floor running with this stuff. But. The Christian victory, party victory, rebuilding the country from a militia to a fighting force. Uh, reformation of American Air Force, or Air Force, back on the world stage, we'll get there eventually. Uh, oh, reports of Texas, Minister Smith, huh, Smith plan. Right-wing populace, terrible Terry, Latin and Joe, Smell and Jake, Christian Nationalist Crusade. Ooh, minimum minute empowerment, the cross and the flag. Draft for America, top-notch artillery. I, I really want to do artillery for this one. So, the GI Bill rebuilding the country. Christian Party of Victory. Ah, William Pelly. Oh, I love Pelly here. National Progressive Party, fighting Bob, social libs. New Washington. And who else? Because pa pa Papio Daniel, huh? The death of Carol. Oh, see, as she goes, a populist. But love discipline. Reviving America first. A test of faith. Blessed are the pure in heart. Blessed are those who hunger after righteousness. Sorry, I, I haven't seen this before, so. The realist. The reformists. Holy. Second Holy American League Congress. The savior. The regency. What? Today she goes to moderate the Holy American Empire. The populist. Um, anyways. Oh, what is it? Oh, look at this. This is what I'm looking for. Ooh. Yes. Wait, so this one says there is Papal Militia. Uh, so, the National's Populist Party we called the Holy American League. Of Car Philip Carroll, the militias dr changed dramatically. Okay, so there is... So basically, we need... We can probably get Carroll to help us out here, so... Alright, so if that's the case, I'm glad we got that. From a militia to a fighting force. So far, the only force of the Kingfisher's command has been small-time militias in urban environments. With the advent of the Civil War, many generals and armed groups have deserted to join the Royal American government, and adapting to our previous forces and hierarchy to these newcomers should be our priority. So we got all this stuff done. We have no tanks. I really, though, in this one, want to focus on a ton of artillery. I want to blast those enemies' booties as high as we can. Just nothing but booty blasting them. So we have one uh, carry fighters, naval bombers. We're going to some naval, normal naval bombers. Cast is good enough. All right, and I'll set up the generals. Maybe eh, I can do it right now. So there you go. So the banner of the Republic continued. Now that we've separated from the traders in DC, new flag for the Republic is new. Currently, we're using a flag known as the Sword and Torch Standard, but Maynard proposing a new design. He himself has the favorite designs that reference his home state of Louisiana and the new state capital, a city of America, New Orleans. Uh, Band of the Republic. Federal resistance, if you like to rebuild up his great head, hit him. Yep. Socialist militancy. Black Legion resistance grows. Oh boy. Uh, which one? Fly the Louisiana Star Design, number 8. So it's probably that one. The AFP banner looks cool. The white, the red, white, and blue eagle. Uh, hmm. Eagle design. And out the Pelican pendant. Louisiana Republic design is pure. Uh, is that it? Coast Guard. So, so you know what? I'll let you guys decide, and we'll finish up with all this stuff up here off screen, uh, um, you know, at the beginning of the next episode, and really have the Civil War start. So, let me know in the comments below, which one of these flags do you think would be best for this campaign? If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we will have a good old time destroying other American lives, and having a good old time making ourselves stronger. Hopefully. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.